Hello, Luis. Uh, could you introduce yourself a little bit? So, as you said, my name is Luis Teltz. Uh, I'm 29, Portuguese. Um, and uh, I was training in your academy, Baltic Aviation Academy, which I enjoyed very much. What is your experience in aviation? In aviation, well, I have uh, 420 hours of flight, not too much, not yet experienced. I've worked in aviation before, but not as a pilot. I was working in Angola for uh, almost three years in a helicopter company. They did uh, prospection for diamonds and uh, they helped VIPs, transport VIPs from uh, the land to platforms, and oil platforms. What were your responsibilities there? Uh, I used to do the crew changes. Uh, I used to organize, uh, organize trips for the VIPs and engineers to go to platforms and to diamond sites. And so how did you decide to become a pilot? childhood dream basically. Uh, since I've remembered, uh, I've had the airplanes in my room, uh, I've enjoyed watching airplane movies, uh, dreamt a lot of times that I was flying, so uh, it was a childhood's dream. And let's Came talk true. <laughs> Great, and let's talk about your trainings. Was it hard to train yourself to be a pilot? Uh, when you have, uh, when you like it, Nothing is hard. I think with uh, some determination and confidence, I think anything can be done. So the main qualities pilots should have determination, uh, yeah, confidence, assertiveness, uh, so many, I don't know. So do you think is it hard to become a pilot? Is it uh, the part of uh, success of personal qualities? It's not easy. If it was easy, everyone would be a pilot, right? Because everyone likes, would like to be a pilot. That's, where, that's the way I think it. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's, it's difficult, of course. Everything has its difficulties. All the courses. That's why not all, people's, uh, not all people are doctors or, or pilots. Everyone has their own uh, destiny or their own path. And not everyone can be a pilot or a doctor, basically. You have to have certain qualities. Okay, you were doing your Airbus uh, 320 trainings and you already passed the exam. So was it hard to pass it? I wouldn't say it was hard, but we had to study a lot. We, uh, it was, we were here in Lithuania for 36 days now. Uh, and we only had a couple of days off of the course. We had to study hard, even in those days we had off, we were studying. We had good grades, we have good grades to show it, uh, how good we were and how, how hard we studied. So it wasn't hard, it wasn't difficult, but uh, it was hard because we had to study a lot. So uh, let's talk about the training process uh, at Baltic Aviation Academy. Uh, how was it going? Uh, it, was, it was very good, I enjoyed it very much. It's very cold here in uh, Lithuania, but uh, as as the years, as the days had gone by, we were getting used to it more and more. So it was easy, basically, and we enjoyed it very much. The instructors were spectacular. We had very good flight instructor, uh, very good instructors in the room. Took take care of all our doubts and questions, and yeah, that's basically it. We enjoyed it very much. If there's any possibility, I'll be returning for uh, another type rating. I don't know what, which one though.